let's find a bunch of trig values here. So the tangent of 420 degrees. Let's look at our unit circle. Whoops, didn't want to do that. So 420 degrees, if I look at my unit circle, 420 is, there's 360. So I need to go another 60 degrees to get to 420. So that's the same as the tangent of 60, because that's a reference angle. And the tangent of 60 is just the sine of 60 over the cosine of 60. And the sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. And the cosine of 60 is 1 half. So I multiply by the reciprocal. They cancel. The 2's cancel, and I get the square root of 3. So the answer is square root of 3. All right, so let's do 3 pi over 4. 3 pi over 4, there's 1 pi over 4, 2, 3. There's 3 pi over 4, which is, of course, right there labeled 3 pi over 4. Cosecant, remember, is the reciprocal of the sine. So I take the sine, which is root 2 over 2. And remember, root 2 over 2 is just 1 over square root of 2. So I rewrite that as 1 over the square root of 2. And I multiply by the reciprocal. And the answer is just the square root of 2. So the cosecant of 3 pi over 4 is the square root of 2. Because dividing by 1 over the square root of 2, it's basically it's just the reciprocal of the sine. And the sine, <coughs> remember that square root of 2 over 2 is really the same as 1 over the square root of 2. So if that's the sine, then the cosecant is the square root of 2. Is that negative? Um, no, because the oh, sine, no, that's not negative because the sine is the y value. And remember, we're up here. We're going up, so that's the sine right there, positive square root of 2 over 2, which means the cosecant is positive square root of 2. Let's do cotangent oh, of 31 sorry, pi really... over 6. 31 pi over 6 is... There's 12 pi over 6, there's 24 pi over 6, so I need to go another 7 pi over 6, which is right there. The cotangent is equal to the cosine over the sine, cosine over sine of 31 pi over 6. The cosine is the x value, so it's negative 1 half divided by, I did that wrong, the x value is the cosine. So the cosine is negative root 3 over 2, and the sine is negative 1 half. And multiplying by the reciprocal, the negative divided by negative is a positive. The 2's cancel out, and you get just a square root of 3. And that brings up a point. The cotangent of an angle is the same as the tangent of the Nope, not the reciprocal. It's called a cotangent because it is a complementary angle. It's a co-complementary. The complement of 31 pi over 6 has the same tangent as... In other words, let's do an easy example. The, cotan the cotangent of 30 is equal to the tangent of its complement. The sine of 30 is equal to the cosine, cosine, because they're co-angles, of its complement. The secant of, let's say, 50, is equal to the cosecant of its complement, which is 40, because they're co-angles with each other. That's sort of an aside I wanted to point out. You don't need to know that for this problem. All right, finally, let's do this last one down here. Negative. 19 pi over 3. Remember when I'm doing uh, pi, when I'm going in the negative direction, I start on the initial side and I go this way. So there's negative 6 pi over 3 because it's twice, it's 2 pi. So there's 12 pi over 3, a negative 12 pi over 3. And so I needed to go another 7 pi over 3. So I need to go another negative 7 pi over 3. Oh, is that going to get me through? No, I'm sorry. I can go around one more time. Right, one more 6 pi, so I've got to go another pi over 3 in the negative direction. Let me see if I did that right. I confused myself. 
Let's try that again. All right. 6 pi over 3 is 1 revolution, right? Negative 6 pi over 3. So how many 6s are in 18 or 19? There's three 6s, which gets you to 18. So that's, this is negative 18 pi over 3, and another pi over 3 gets me right there. So it's just negative 1 pi, negative pi over 3. And so the sine of negative pi over 3 is just the the x coordinate. Is that what it said? The problem was the sine. Wait, why wouldn't you go there? 18, 19. Wait. Negative pi over 3. This is, oh, wait, this no. is negative pi over 6. This is negative okay, yeah. pi over 3. It's 60 degrees. So that, the sign is the y coordinate, which is negative root 3 over 2. That's your answer for that one. Negative root 3 over 2.